right, welcome back, guys, to some TFT with me, McGrathy. Oh, dude, a mogul's mail. Uh, mage crown. Mage could be really good, actually. Wandering trainer. Ugh, I'm not going to take that. I'm wondering if I go, like, a full Wukong game. That could be kind of fun. Just make him a total crazy tank. Oh, Pandora's. I'm gonna take this. I, I I always lose when I go Pandora's. Uh, yeah. What do I do here? I think we just try and make gold, right? There we go. Uh, Bloodthirster. Yeah. What if we go like witchcraft? But then. Reveal who my next opponent is. Um, witchcraft, and then, like, just full Wukong? Would Wukong be good? I actually don't know if, what, how you play... How do you play Wukong? Like, is he actually good in any games, or what? Right? Where's the Eldritch? Uh, Singer's really good. Uh, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know what you're supposed to do here. Do we go full, like, Arcana, maybe? Arcana Preserver? That could be good, right? So... Let's just clear this. Okay, so we want Wukong. Right? And he's, like, special. Right? And then we go, like... What? Ari's first, right? Ari's a Arcana. Right? So, like, Ari. We go Zillion for the Preserver. Um, I think we still take this for now. We'll take this. Because I, I think I'll nothing else to do. So all right, Zillion. Uh, who's the other Arcana we want? Uh, Hecarim, right? And uh, what's that name? Zareth. 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 Right. Late game is Zareth is amazing because he's awesome. Uh, I think that's all of them, right? No, three, four. Who's who's the last one here? All right, Zillion, Hecarim. Oh, Tom Kench. Right, 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 right. Tom Kench. Where's Tom Kench? There's Tom Kench. And then Preserver, right? We want uh, Bard. That ugly dude here. And Rakan. Right? And, like, that's our team. That's, like, eight. Is that, like, a good team? I actually don't even know. There's the Hecarim, though. And the Bard. But we want... Uh, Wukong just wants, like... Uh, what does he want? He wants a Titans, doesn't he? I'll give him a Titans. Uh, we've gotten the Mogul's Mail for him. Mogul's Mail is really good for him. Maybe like a Sterex or... Ooh, there's the Cassiopeia I've been waiting for. Yeah, we think we just put this in for now, anyway. Temporary Magnetic Remover and a Reforger for one round. Let's just put this in. And the Gargoyles. And then we just wait. Uh, did we get that in time? No, we did not. I don't think we get that remover back, right? There we go. Yeah, we can't use it on her, though. Do we not get that now? Is that just totally gone? Definitely, I should have put this on her earlier, right? That definitely would have been better. Okay, we want to take the gold, right? We want to get rid of those. 
Noise. I actually didn't need to sell one of those, but that's fine. Ah, oh, I lose my reforger. Ah, oh, I was hoping for, hoping to keep that. Okay, let's take the Ari. Let's get rid of one of the witchcraft. We'll start cycling these guys out. Oh, that sucks. I didn't get to take that out. Gain a gambler's blade. Who wants a gambler's blade, really? I don't even think anyone really wants that crap. Yeah. Maybe Bard could take that, because he kind of, like, attacks. He's like an attack carry-ish. Ari's definitely not taking anything. <clears throat> yeah, so we're, like, it's... PBE, it's at 12 PBE, professionally taking around, uh, and we're just kind of having some fun, honestly, it's um, just a bit of fun, you know, we're not uh, not going too crazy, I think we win this, right, we don't have to sell anything, nice, we basically want to get to level 7 ASAP, uh, because we want to get the Hecarim, Bard, Wukong, 3 stars, many of those as we can, well, at least as far as we can, Place this now, I guess, and this. Sell that. Sell this. Uh, this is the Gambler's Blade, right? So this gives us attack speed. I think we put this here for now. And then, uh, Full Bastion would be good too, right? Isn't Bastion really good? I think the Preserver is okay too. Okay, we've got 50 gold, so we don't need to go crazy here. Got another one of these. Not what we need, though. Not what we needed. All three cost champions. Let's do it. Oh, yes, we get the Wukong. Nice. Now let's put the Shen in for the Bastion, right? You, 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 you. Uh, and we got a Shen, yeah. Okay, Mogul's Mail. Gargoyles. And then I'm going to wait. Uh, like, Hand of Justice would be okay, but it's Bloodthirster would be best, I think. And I think we go like this. Get rid of that. Like, Bastion is just really good because Wukong does more damage. Right? Like Wukong's ability now, if you didn't know, he doesn't get any, um, he, he doesn't have a trait bonus, but instead he has a powerful ability and increased stats. So he actually gains 30% bonus ma bonus armor and magic resist from all sources. And then his, uh, his shield he does um, is applied based on his armor and magic resist as well. Oh, this could be pretty good. Nine free shop rerolls. One run of completed item. Oh my god. I think that's obviously it. <gasps> oh my god, how many of those am I going to find? Okay, so this guy is going to be ridiculous. Um, who do we put in here? I guess the Nico. We actually have... Uh, Two of these we could put in. With another one of these. I like the Shen, but is Bastion really the best? I don't think I don't think we wanna like I don't think we wanna make Wukong the everything. Do we? I mean he's getting a bunch of armor and max resist, but uh, he's not gonna do that much damage, is he? He's kind of doing okay in damage. The nice thing, though, is that this mogul male is going to print us money. That's why I want him up in the front there. Because we are printing money with that. That's the nice part. Chrono? Do we have another Chrono? No. We need we need the Hecarim. That's what we need. We need the Hecarim. Oh, okay. Let's take this... Phantom Bramble Vest. Give that to him. Now he has 440 shield. Really nice. Uh, let's just keep leveling up. Let's 
go ahead and put the Shen in there. Go like this. Have some delicious coffee. Now we just chill. And we kind of want to make Bard the damage dealer, right? So like... Launch a missile at the target that bounces four times between enemies, dealing 110 magic damage to, dam uh, to enemies hit. I think he... There's a good reason that he should have one of those. Oh my god. Four gold we've got out of that. Uh, and then we need to get him like a Rage Blade or something. That's probably the last thing. Just because we want this generating gold for us. Plus he's, you know, he's okay damage. He's okay damage. But we need to save one of these to try and get a uh, Bloodthirster for this guy, I think. Unless we just go full damage. Or full tank on him. Go for this or something. Tom Can should be great. Get the Arcana in. Honestly, I think it's the Bloodthirster. I know this was a really good other pick. But I think it's the Bloodthirster on him. Just gives him a little bit more damage, a little bit more tank. And it should be pretty good. <clears throat> okay. Bloodthirster, there you go. 528 shield. Alright, now we just need to level up. Okay, we will be level 7 next turn. Cool. And this find your center thing. 15% damage and 10% max health. So yeah, even a, a bit of damage on him makes a big difference. Right, now let's see how, how much this goes up. 358 physical damage to each nearby target. So that's actually like, that's crushing people pretty hard. And he gets to that 35 stacks and he stays healthy. Look at how healthy he is. Now, when he goes low, the uh, three star, that'll obviously improve. Uh, but like, yeah, he's pretty ridiculous. I can level up here to seven because we have enough gold. We made five gold, six gold on this. Wow, he stayed alive. That's insane. Level seven. All right. Here we go. Ready for the Wukongs. Uh, another Wukong, I guess. I don't know. A random minor effect. Sure. Uh, okay, cool. I'll take that. Uh, we need Arcanas in here. Oh, hello. Hello, Eldritch Mage. Oh, hello, Zillion. Chrono. Right, we don't need you, or you, or you, or you. We don't need you either. Yeah, we don't need you. Back to 49 gold. We rolled a lot of gold there, unfortunately. Look at this damage. This guy just got to shred this whole front line. Sorry, friendos. And we're getting so much gold every round. Uh, we do need a good damage dealer, though. Okay, we just pick up two more three costs. That's fine. And we do one of these. Why not? Uh, I guess we just keep going until we get what we want, right? Okay, there's the Hectorum. That's good. That gives us two things we want, actually. Ooh, there's a Tom Kench. That gives us three things we want, actually. Arcana. Now, your team game's ability power plus more for each unique three-star champion. Cool. Okay, uh, we can actually sell these. We don't need any of those. Okay, there's a Hecarim. Get that target dummy for one round. I'll put that down here. Uh, now, use this Arcanet to champion. Okay, so Ari. Gain health for each active trait. Damage reduction and attack damage. Okay, so we definitely put that on Hecarim. Right? Champions holding an item gain durability and attack damage. So that's making him even tankier, right? Nasher's Tooth? 
Or do we give him Rage Blade? I think it's Nasher's Tooth, actually, to be honest. We uh, need to roll as well. There's the Zillion. Tom Kench. Another Nami. I mean, a three, a two-star Nami. We take that, I guess. Oh wow, another Nami. How many of those do we take? Jesus, look how much gold we're printing, guys. This is insane. We don't win this because of this shenanigans, but uh, I feel pretty good about how that went. Uh, 75% of their ability power. Vertically inclined. We're only going to have a couple of things activated, so that might be pretty good. 9% Omnivamp. That's not good, though. Uh, upgrade to 2 star. Okay, we can actually use this because we'll only buy Nami now. Uh, that will be amazing. Uh, do we need to put any of these in? No, but we can. Oh, yeah, we can actually put the two star Nami in. Put me to the test. Oh, I didn't want to buy the Gwen. Oh, no. That wasn't my plan. Oh, I screwed up my plan. <laughs> Whoops. Ari, don't care about Ari. Gain two gold. Yep, sure. Tom Kench. Okay, that's good. That's two star Tom Kench. Shen, I really don't care about too much. Oh, but I do like Bard. That's two-star Bard. Okay, we are starting to bleed a little bit of health because this is getting a little scary. Three-star Kassadin. Uh, that's pretty disgusting. But we do have 60 gold. We need to find uh, more of these dudes here. We're not finding enough dudes. There's Wukong. One gold each. I'll take it. Nami, I'll take it. We're going to get a three-star Nami this time, aren't we? Okay, I don't need that. I do want this, though. I don't want Huey. Ari, go away. I do like Kench. Let's put these here. I uh, don't like this, sorry. Zillion, we're not going to go past that, probably. Let's do one more. Dude, our Zillion, stop. You're good. We already got you in here. Ah, delicious. Tom Kench is really good, too. We should get some... Even a Thief's Gloves on him would be really nice. Uh... What do we want here? Man. These gloves maybe honestly would be the best, but that's on a Jax on a one star unit. I think we take the Wukong. That means we're just one Wukong off. It's worth it. That's fine. We can get a redemption on him. That's definitely worth it. And then yeah, maybe hold out for the Thieves gloves someone else can get life insurance take that for sure take this oh yeah we want to buy as many charms as we can right for the Zareth later I don't know why I'm rolling here that was really dumb but I just felt something in my bones, like I just wanted to do it. Also, why is Nami off to the side? Nami should be right here, right next to the bard. Good job, everybody. There's my bard. Oh, dude, this guy's almost got three-star bard, too. Uh, I hope you die soon, because... Uh... I don't know what you're going for, but you're you're stealing my bards, and I do not like it. Well, you got a briar sitting there doing nothing. Nothing, buddy? Really? Really? 
Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. All right, now time to go to level nine or eight. Yeah, level eight, I guess. Who do we need left? We need the Rakan, the Zareth. I mean, Nami is kind of not part of this, right? You're kind of not part of this group. So I'll let her, I'll let her chill. We really need, we really need the Zareth in instead of the Nami. <laughs> not gonna lie. And it would be like nice to have the Rakan. And the Morgana would be nice too, honestly, to have the Preserver as well. We could, you know, put the Morgana in instead of her. That would be fine. We'll get our two gold. Don't worry about being at 48 gold. Just uh, chill out and have some uh, iced coffee. Life will be better. See? Told you. Uh, Nami in that back end. Can Wukong kill everybody here? Here's the question. Or can he just take an hour to die so that we get a billion gold? That's also possible. Yep. Sweet. Get some gold. Nice. Yep, don't need that. We're all good here, guys. I'd love to get a three-star Tom Kench. I think that would be pretty broken, too. Wouldn't it? Be pretty silly. I love how our Wukong still survives. Let's see what his uh, armor and magic resist goes to. 159. Not as much as... Uh, I think it was Galio in season 11 was getting like four or five hundred. That was pretty disgusting what he was getting. Speaking of Galio, hello Galio. Oh, there's my bard back. Bards are finally coming back. What can we get here? Now we can't get the gloves because that ship has sailed. But we can get this. And just get a little bit of damage down. Okay, next round we are level 8 and we're all set. We may have to go 9 just in order to get the Zareth and the Morgana, but uh, for right now we're set. Love to get a 3 star Bard, but honestly, like, he's only there to make money. 3 star doesn't really change too much. The Zareth will make a big difference. How many charms have we bought? I don't know if it tells you before you've actually done it, but yeah, we basically want to buy every charm we can that's not stupid. Basically every charm we want. Or that we can, rather. Not that we want. Alright, there's another Tom Kench. Great. Gain a temporary Bramble Vest. I mean, we're going to buy all these charms, so we might as well use them, right? Uh, let's find something really good here. Morgana, you're in. You're in, baby. All right, let's sell these. We'll get three gold again, don't worry, guys. Okay, I want to actually move these guys like this. Morgana should be in the middle. And I want to get some stuff for her. Someone's a swarm of bats. She's definitely going to be my damage, I guess, late game. Uh, Three-star bard. That's scary. It's awful. But look at the gold, dude. Look at the gold we have. Oh my god. <laughs> Go Wukong. Wukong smacks you up. But are we going to kill this three-star bard? Probably not. Look at him. He's healing everything. I think we just level up, right? Don't we? Gain two test dummies. We'll put them over here, maybe. Just keep leveling up. This we're not using, right? There's no way. 56 to level, so I don't want to level yet. We'll wait until after carousel. 39 hit points. How many people left? Six people left in lobby, and we're top half. Okay, so we're doing okay. We're not bleeding hit points too bad. This guy has a scary team. Oh, he's got a rise, but one star. That guy's not too scary. 
this guy has the two-star Nasus with an innervating locket. That's okay, I guess. He's got quite a bit of mana. Uh, 80 mana, not too bad, but he's going to get pretty scary. The nice thing is we've got the burn on the Tom Kench. Oh, is he a two-range unit? No, he's one hex. How come he's standing in the back? I don't really know. Uh, Wukong has 231 magic resist, though, so... Guess as long as we get some damage in here, we should be fine. Oh, thank God. Did he not die? He didn't die. Wow. Okay, fair enough. Uh, second pick on the carousel. Okay, Morgana is a good idea. Oh, the emblems. Both the emblems suck, so I don't want those. What I want is this for the Morgana. That's what I want for sure. I actually would like a remover to take this off, to be honest. I don't think I need the gold anymore. I can probably remove that stuff off the uh, bard. So I want this here, this here, this here, and I'll keep this on Nami for now because I'm going to probably move Nami over eventually. All we need now is the Zareth. And a Rakan. So this is Rakan here, or Zera, whichever one we get first. And then the other is the other. We only have one front line. <laughs> uh, Wukong in the top. Go Wukong! Have some ice coffee and hope for the best. Okay, 234, 264, 270. He's got quite a bit of uh, MR. He's doing pretty well. I feel like he might be better with some either full tank items or like some maybe a little bit more DPS items. But honestly, I think the Morgana is going to take care of our DPS here. We are going to be able to level up twice here. If we win, we should be good. Can we kill the Rise though? Probably not, hey? No. Yeah, it's okay. We're level 9 now. Or we should be. We will go level 9. Four random items become artifacts. No, I don't really trust that. But it's fun. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, actually, that's pretty good. Light Shield Crest is good. Mana Zine is good. Blighting Jewel is actually really good. Dude, that probably couldn't have gone better, to be honest. Okay, let's just go for it. Let's go for it. Uh, we don't need these two. We don't want that. We want the Zareth. There we go. Zareth goes here. Zareth, there we go. Two stars Zareth. Ridiculous. Okay, let's uh, sell this Morgana and give all that shit to Zareth then, I guess, eh? And there's the Rakan. Disgusting. Okay, we really don't need these, so let's take the Nami out. Rakan is a tank with one hex range, so that's good. Do this friggin'. Why does why does Bard still do damage and sits back there? I don't understand what what, what just happened there. Uh, I need another. I mean, is Morgana better? No, Morgana's better because of that. Uh, let's see. So this actually gives us true damage for every charm. Okay, that's fine. I'll take it. I'll take it. We want to get some more uh, Morganas because she's just really good. But, like, is it not better to have it on the Zareth because Zareth is just better? I think it is, right? But the thing is, she's a preserver, so she's actually healing too, which is probably keeping everybody alive. Uh, but here we go. We can get something on. Yeah, let's put this on the Zareth. That seems really good. Uh, let's go ahead and reforge this too, because we don't need this now. What is this now? Eternal Winter. Okay. Take this. Let's actually uh, go ahead and move these guys out a little bit. Oh, and this needs to go here. Almost forgot about that. Okay, we got a reforger and a remover as well. Uh, 
Hecarim we don't need. Gonna get some gold here. Come on, Wukong. Oh, Wukong is good, but uh, are we getting? Are we dead here? Oh my God, we're dead here! Holy crap, dude, that was so much damage. Wukong was amazing. That guy was VIP for sure. That was pretty sweet. I wonder if maybe just totally frontlining him would have been still better. I mean, in the end, I don't know. We we finished fourth place, but those guys had some pretty ridiculous comps. Like we were just kind of having fun, and those guys were like playing LCS. So I don't know. Thanks very much for watching, guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'm, like, really close to being monetized or something on YouTube. I don't know how that works, but, like, apparently that's a thing. So thanks, I guess, for watching. appreciate you guys. And thanks to my sponsor, CPU Course. Maybe they'll start paying me. <laughs> All right. Thanks very much for watching the videos, guys. Bye.